How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to build this automatic two tall flower duplicator. It's a pretty simple design, though it does involve quite a bit of redstone and hoppers. Now let me show you how it works. If you turn on this lever right here, these four flowers right here will start duplicating through bone meal. And you can turn it off when you're done. These flowers will make their way through the hoppers and into the chest right here. There is more than just these four flowers that you can duplicate, but this design does only work for two tall flowers. For this build, you're going to need four dispensers, four observers, two redstone repeaters, one redstone comparator, six pieces of redstone, nine hoppers, one lever, one block of redstone, four sticky pistons, four minecart with hopper, two rails, four carpets, four fences, four pieces of dirt, a block of choice, as well as an assortment of bone meal and your four flowers. Do note once again that they do have to be two tall flowers. Though I only grabbed a few stacks of bone meal, I would recommend grabbing more as you will use them quickly for this duplicator. One more thing that you are also going to need is two chests. And we are actually going to be placing that down first. So just place the two chests right next to each other to create one large chest. Then put the five hoppers going in on the right side of the chest. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our block of choice and place a few blocks so we're actually going to be placing two blocks right here and right here. Then we can do a few more blocks just like that to create another row. Same with this side. Two blocks and then bring it up one more. Then we can grab out our dirt and place them right here. Then you're going to grab your rails and your minecart with hoppers and your fences. I'm now in the front of the build, and you're actually going to place two just like this. And a rail, you're going to place another temporary block just like that. Delete it so the rail is going into the fence. And the same with the other side. So once again, grab one more block of choice. Put your rails in, delete one, and push it into the fence just like that. Then you can delete the rail. And try not to push these minecart with hoppers. Try and keep them the way they are, or you will not get all your drops. Next, you can delete these fences. Just be careful not to delete the minecart if you are in creative mode. Then you can delete this dirt. Then what we are going to do is create a temporary wall to create one of our two more minecart with hoppers, just like this. Then once again, put down your two rails, delete the one on the right, put your fence, minecart with hopper, push it into the fence, and then you can delete everything and it should fall right into place. We're only going to need to do this one more time. This one is optional, but I think it's important. Put two rails, delete this one, put your minecart here, push it in, oopsies, push it just like that and then when you delete everything it won't be lined up so you will have to give it a little tap don't push it too hard or the ones in the end will fall off just like that and it should be perfect all right next we're going to place our dirt directly in that box above the hoppers so we're going to need to use our sticky pistons to place four blocks um, one two three four and then you can use your block of choice and what we're going to do is we're going to place sticky pistons and push it down using redstone. So I'm going to need that. I'm going to need my block of redstone. Perfect. Now we're going to need to put sticky pistons facing downwards onto the dirt on all four slots. One, two, three, and four. Then what you're going to do is grab your redstone block and place them so all the pistons move down. You may have to do this more than once. You know what? 
it's not working because we need to go one block lower. Yes, okay. So what we're going to do is actually delete this. Delete just the blocks of redstone. And grab your blocks of dirt again. And just place one more layer going down, just like this. If you only have four pieces, then make the top one your blocks of choice. And then the bottom row should go into the blocks. And you should not see much of the minecart. Mine, you see a little bit. And then you can delete the sticky pistons and the dirt or your block of choice, whatever you put there. This one is not as important. You can delete it if you'd like. But it will increase your drops to about 5% more. So we're going to place our hoppers going into the dirt. And if you can't place it in, it means your minecart's a little bit off, like this one right here. So what you're going to have to do is either give it a push or just try a different spot of the block. I think mine will have to give it a little push. And then you should be able to place the hopper. Ooh, as you can see, it's coming off the track a little bit, so I'm just going to have to push it back in. Just like that, perfect, and then I'll give it a little push this way. Okay, that looks good for now. Good. Okay. It looks a little better now that I give it a push. So now what we're going to do is actually going to finish up the redstone for the duplicator and the dispensers for the bone kneeling. So now what you're going to want to do is actually make sure you have out your observers, your dispensers, your redstone, your blocks of choice, which I do not have, so let me grab those really quickly. And let's place a few blocks here, and a few blocks on this side. And then, delete these two, delete these two, and actually we're going to make these two tall, and make the back row four tall, on both sides. So this one you're just going to have to make diagonally, and then bring it up one more, just like that. And then, now what you can do is actually we're going to go in the back, place a few more blocks just surrounding the dirt all the way around. Now we're actually going to delete out these four blocks right here to put our dispensers in. When you're placing the dispensers, make sure that they're facing towards the dirt block. Now we're going to go in the back and place our observers. Temporary four blocks. Wait, that's not right. You go back one more, just like this. And then place your observers facing up. Um, if they're not working, you may have to push your minecarts. Just be very careful. Okay, as you can see, none of mine are working, so I'm going to have to give it a little push. And then it should work. Oopsies. You want the arrow to go up. Let me try this one, give it a little push, it might take a few tries as you can see mine did, and then it should work after you give the minecarts a little push. Alright now you shift something looks like this, now we're going to grab our lever and place it right here. And then we're going to delete uh, this block right here and this block right here. Now grab your redstone and your repeaters, your comparator, your blocks of choice. And we're going to place our block of choice right here and then right there. Redstone down. And then a repeater. And then we're going to run that into a block with a comparator and some redstone right here, a repeater right there, and then another piece of redstone right by this repeater. Okay, that looks good. And then you can grab your bone meal 
and begin placing them into the dispenser. I didn't forget this time. Now grab your four flowers and place them in any spot. You can have multiple of the same flower in the same spot too. Turn it on for a little while. You can actually place your carpet on top of these four hoppers right here. Then when you are done, flip the lever and you should see flowers start to end up in this large chest. Though it may take them a little while because you just duplicated a lot of flowers. So they may be still stuck in this hopper. As of right now, there's no way to get the hoppers to move any faster. So what they're doing is they actually are stuck in the minecart with hopper and they're trying to go into those hoppers right there. And even if you turn this off subtract mode, you'll still see it still takes just as long. There's nothing you can really do. Just be patient with it. Let's say you accidentally push this block right here. Yeah, I'm purposely going to push it off like that. Um, and you push, try and push it back on, it ends up like this. Um, you're not going to want that. So I'd recommend either deleting it or I'll show you how to move it back. This one is a pretty easy fix if it happens. Just delete it, put your rail back, delete one of the chests, grab out a block of choice, put this block back, put a rail, and put your minecart with hopper. And then you can delete the rail that the minecart's on, or you can just leave it there. Then put your chest back and everything should work like normally again. Just be sure when uh, you are going AFK overnight that you have plenty of bone meal in your dispensers, or else it will not work right. That is gonna be it for the video. Be sure to give it a like subscribe with post notifications on because there are new videos coming out every other day. You can also follow me on my Instagram at mgsrgaming. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Click in the top left to watch a video that YouTube recommends for you and click on the right to subscribe.